Oh, uh, I'm here at Kaust and this is Ivana and Ivana is working on mantle xenolith in Saudi Arabia. Hello, Ivana. Hello. <laughs> yes, and uh, you have this great map here. Can you show us a little bit about where your rocks are from? Yes, my rocks are from all around the Saudi Arabia, from north to the south. So we have these haras. These are volcanic fields. Uh, and some of these fields, some of these volcanoes actually extract uh, mantle xenolites. So let me show you some samples. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go in. These are the samples. The Whoa, you have a large collection there, don't you? Yeah, a lot of samples. And you're doing a PhD on these rocks? Yes, I'm working a PhD under the supervision on, of Professor Froke van der Zwan, and I uh, hope that we will make a good story from this. And oh, I'm excited about your rocks. Show us a little more, please. So, okay, this is the mantle, and we can see here some layers. So, this is a very interesting feature. We still don't know what is happening there. We need to do a lot of analysis. But the one thing that we need to explain, maybe to all of these people, is that uh, we cannot actually sample the mantle because mantle is like 40, 50, 100 kilometer deep. Yes. What can happen actually if we have a magma and then magma breaks the mantle and take these rocks? Here we can see actually how magma incorporates all of this mantle xenolites and brought it up. So it's like a hazelnut and chocolate. This is amazing. And this comes from uh, up to 100 kilometers depth yeah, or so? These ones are for 40 kilometers usually. So uh, here in Saudi Arabia, these are some like published papers. So we know that it's like 40 the, kilometers. The mantle starts at 40 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yes, here yeah, in I Saudi see. Arabia. Yeah. So yeah, these are the rocks. And uh, how important it is that we are having actually this process naturally is that the, the deepest borehole is 12 kilometers in the island Kola. So actually we cannot drill deep, but um, lava can <laughs> Can bring up some rocks from depth, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Violent eruptions uh, and uh, fast ascending magma, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. And if you don't mind, I'm going to zoom into some of your rocks sure. now because they are so amazing. <laughs> So here we have these olivine-rich aggregates with a bit of pyroxene, yes. and um, then some of them have been, yeah, interacting. So it's a bit like meteorites that have a bit of a crust or so. But here you see the mantle rock, and uh, these are usually peridotites, but also some pyroxenites, I guess. Pyroxenites, Is that correct? Yes, we have also the pyroxenites. Some like this greenish, and actually some of them has like very um, big olivines and they are game quality here in Saudi Arabia but still we didn't find them if we find them <laughs> <laughs> then you'll stop doing a PhD yes. and selling <laughs> selling minerals well this is a fantastic collection and uh, well I think uh, if you uh, if you want to investigate in homogeneities in the mantle this is the kind of sample set to do it with so I'm quite impressed here fantastic also here we have the layers maybe Oh, there's another layered one, yeah. Uh, this is intriguing, this layering. I think this is going to cause you a little bit of a, a headache to unravel, I think. Yes, it's a headache, but uh, it will be interesting to work with it. I'm absolutely sure. Well, thank you very much, Ivana. This was great. And uh, yeah, good luck in your study. Thank you. Bye. Bye.